Ahoy, fellas! Today I'm gonna talk to Mokuma. Just because we got kickback back and all that. But, uh. I feel like uh, we gotta, you know, we gotta actually. gotta actually talk to the big man himself about the whole kickback situation. Okay, maybe not, huh? I guess I won't. Never mind. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. What a stupid idea. Ha! Talk to Mokuma. Uh, well, in that case, that that's all my plans dashed. <laughs> God, there are so many wickerlings. There, there's a lot of stuff up here that I haven't gotten. But there's a lot of stuff that I just don't know how to get, period. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go up for now. I kind of feel like dropping from that that beeline right there. Actually, I still have to I still have to ruin the town. I forgot about that. I have to plant mushrooms. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode. We're doing more mushroom stuff. How about that? God. As you all know, I w actually this is more important than my job. <laughs> I finally did in fact get my hands on multiversus and it's it it's interesting it's gonna take me a little while to um, get used to the controls or just the way it handles not so much the controls as the way it handles really because it's Moving over from Smash, it feels floaty, and it's kind of weird not having a grab, and I gotta remember my fighting game control scheme. A frigid and lonesome spot, someplace far above the bustle of the island. I remember that now. Well, um, I am going that way, so... Um... Far above the bustle of the island is probably gonna be way the heck up here. Way, way the heck up here. I feel like you can normally see the dirt patches, but maybe not. Anyways, we will find it. We will find that patch of dirt that we're gonna plant a mushroom on. Well, let's see actually, because there's a dirt, there's a mushroom patch over here, and yeah, you can see it from the map, but it's not. Eh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. So. And that's not, that's no fun. If I'm going to be doing an exploration episode, I may as well actually do it on foot instead of going, oh, let's explore the map. Mm. You know it, fellas. Anyways, let's go. They really could have coded that better. Whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know. One thing that is weird about multiverses is that... It, you, you can really tell they put a lot of thought into 2v2 mechanics and not 1v1 <laughs> because some of the like actually hold on <laughs> you can you can tell with some things actually wait I was gonna drop from one of those wait what the heck how did I even how did that even happen? Yeesh. Let's just go all the way up. And then we'll maybe make our way downwards instead of the other way around, like always. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yep. Yes, siree. That kind of looks like a patch of dirt, but probably isn't. Hey, look, the guano patch. Very cool. I love guano. How in the heck are you supposed to get that? This is kind of what I mean with this game, where there's a lot of stuff going on that I don't know if there are just puzzles I don't know about. Okay, I get it now, never mind. I'm a moron. And this is gonna take a while. My apologies. But, um... The characters in multiverses all have like a direction that they're 
the majority of their attacks go, sort of. So there's like, I want to say they're mixed into like horizontal, vertical, and hybrid. And it seems like a lot of the characters are horizontal fighters, which makes sense, but some of them... Like, you really have to be in a pretty specific situation to make proper use of like a vertical... A vertically minded fighter. Um, I don't know. I really haven't been playing the game all that much, and I, I didn't spend any money on it, so I'm not, I'm not exactly using every single character imaginable. I don't know. I really probably should just like spend any amount of time in the lab. Wouldn't it be funny if the guy crapped out a wickerling? Wouldn't that be rad? Super juicy. I have ten! That's great. Where's the nearest pole? We'll find one eventually. I'll trust that we find one eventually. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay. Isn't this... Yeah, this is the beanstalk. Can't we just cut down the beanstalk so I can plant mushrooms instead? Honestly, whoever... Who eats beans? It's a mushroom kind of day, whatever. Sheesh. Oh wait, is this? No, that's that's the hole that the guy came out of. Yeah. Does this guy have anything to say? Hmm. Yeah. Nothing at all. No static at all, except between that guy's ears. <laughs> no funny at all. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think I really have to put more time into the game. But it is kind of wacky. I really wish I trusted my internet connection to be good enough to, like, not blame every little thing on the fact that the characters are all doing wacky stuff they're not seemingly supposed to. It'd be cool if I was good at the game instead of utter garbage. Um, but yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles with my Wi-Fi. So, oh well. But I tried... I... I don't know, I, I guess I think some characters are absolutely just better than others, which is such a profound and amazing thought. Who would have thunk it? But it's it's weird. You know what? This might be a ball thing. Is there a magma ball? That would be interesting, huh? It might be a ball thing. Anyways. That I just had to do some wacky stuff right here. Which is not the case. Not at all. Yeah. Hmm. That sounds like a, an interesting uh, theory that I may as well test, seeing as I have nothing else going on. Wouldn't it be even cooler, though, if... Seriously. You know what would be really cool is if I knew how to get anywhere. Let's see... No static at all. FM. I have been listening to the FM movie soundtrack while doing various levels of calisthenics as exercise lately. It's been interesting and pretty good. I have a newfound appreciation for Steely Dan, um, Dan of Steel as we uh, like to refer to him, the man himself. But yes. Himself. Steely Dan himself. I guess. Please just let me out of this place. It's it's areas like this that I can't stand. Ah! 
Okay. Whew. I would have felt real bad for saying I couldn't stand it right before doing something stupid. Cave. Okay. Yeah. I'm stupid, so I forget about these things. Nope. Let's go straight past it. Is this it? Okay. Cool. That was just actually a marker. Anyways. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I, I like multiverses. I like it. Especially... But I think right now where I haven't invested time enough into it to understand kind of the, the mechanisms of it so much as just how to actually properly play the game and timings and such. That was one thing that I, n I never... I hardly got down, even in Smash, was like timing. Because... I, I had a big problem in, in Smash where I would just basically kill myself over and over again because I would I would air dodge right before hitting the ground because I was trying to dodge when I when I got to the ground. You're telling me this? You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Um, how the heck do I get up there then? Like, is there just actually no way of getting? This is kind of BS. Because this... There's no way to exit that area. Um... God, maybe through the water? I have my doubts, but that's kind of the only place left to me. Hmm. Yeah. Let's try that, then. But... That... I feel like I'm currently in that stage in multiverses where I have I'm I like run up to someone and try and do a neutral attack and it comes out as a side special or something like that. And I am still fiddling around with my controls because it's it's been a while since I've even played Smash. And I I got to a point with Smash where I was finicky enough about my control scheme that I had it memorized. And now I don't remember some of the buttons. And even then, Smash was a game that had a grab and things like that. Multiverses is not Smash. Um, so I'm, not, I'm not expecting it to be. There are a lot of differences. A lot, a lot of differences. One thing... I think this is a mechanic, but if not, I am very, very whack the things that I noticed. But like, there's there's a percentage at which you start taking instead of like no knockback, anything, which is jarring. To like, you die from almost everything, which is equally jarring. Um, I can kind of get why that would be, but it is wacky. Watch, there's going to be a hole down here or something. I do not understand this game. Hmm. Seriously, like, how am I supposed to get to these places? I have to look up, like, a freaking comprehensive map of a freaking. Yeesh. Do I have to. Shoot. I'm giving him a nibble. Ha 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 ha. Sucker. You wanted a nibble, didn't ya? But, uh, it's, it's interesting. Because there are, there are moves that look like they were hit by a truck and they just don't do much. And I like that from a combo perspective, but I guess it's Team Combos is the name of the game. Where if you don't have some kind of synergy with your teammate, you're... 
left a bit high and dry. I wonder if I can fling myself over. Probably, I don't see why not. Okay, I see why not now. Fun! That's so cool! Like... Chris Pratt and Mario. He's so cool. Shout out to... Shout out to... It wouldn't have been me. Isn't Miyamoto dead? I... I don't remember. I don't keep track of these things. I'm really out of it. Like, I haven't been sleeping well lately. So I'm probably rambling really bad. <coughs> oh, jeez. I'm not taking... I'm not editing that out. <laughs> uh, this has got to be... I don't... I don't dislike a lot of the areas in this game. But this... This would be one of the ones that I don't like. You know? For one, I can't find the freaking dirt patch. It's probably like at the bottom there. Hold on. Let's test that theory. Save the game, and off we go. Alright. What's that? You don't like how boring the episode is? Leave a comment. Leave a comment, and I'll make a less boring episode. I prom. Well, I can't promise that, but I promise. I campaign promise. Like a politician. Because we both know that is never going to occur. Anyways. Um, yeah. I honestly, I feel a bit odd mentioning multiverses even, because it's not like I'm really going to like make multiverses content. I almost have half a mind to do that. It's just... I, I've gone so far as an episodic content maker and I think it would be odd for me to start doing something that I would never know how to end proper. You know? Where is the gar- not the garbage patch. Transatlantic garbage patch. Transpacific. Hey pal. Yeah, that would suck if you spilled all the flying materials. Great, the one thing I didn't want to do. Oh, okay. This is fine, actually. Okay, I bounced. So this, these are these are good things. This is a fine outcome. This is all right. Do I have to go to the top? Please don't tell me this thing's at the top. I mean, I have to go to the top anyway. Look at that wickerling there, hiding there, acting like I can't see him. Okay, well, here we go. This is not the way up, but you know, let's play pretend and act for a second like it might be. Yep. Uh, I like that I set out to do like five different things and didn't properly do like any of them. <laughs> I have not completed a single objective in this entire episode. Wow. I here we go. I'm guessing I go a each. Up here. That's not quite the right direction. Well, how do I get out of this one? Oh, I see. Oh, jeez. I am not gonna have the time. Or not. Maybe I will, hey. Actually, hold up. Oh, I am. And my glad kickback was there, which is a. Something that I never thought I would say. Hey, what are you doing here? I once saw a treasure chest beyond Lava Pool on the Ivory Peaks. Couldn't reach it myself, but with someone with a slug vacuum might be it. 
Of course. I needed slug. Are there even slugs near there? That's my question. Like, I don't, I don't know of any slugs that are nearby. Okay, let's see if I can't get one of these slugs so that I can go backwards instantly and fun. I'm so glad that that happened. Honestly. I do enjoy that this game is not, like, immediately tossing me into the gutter as much as I kind of expect from pinball at this point. I love pinball, but boy do I get guttered hard pretty often. And there we go. Okay, fun. That's, that's, that's a great one. I'm not ending the episode until I break this thing that I've definitely already broken. See? Look at how cool it is. There's probably a wickerling behind it. Or nothing. We've already broken it. But, you know, I'm gonna do it again anyways. Of course. Listen, I have a constant, unending supply of food. And friends. Cool. Holy. There we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go, alright. Here we are. What the heck? Wait, wh hold hold the phone. That is the opposite of what is supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. It was supposed to break. Ah! Okay, that's it. That's the last straw. <laughs> Diarrhea of a wimpy kid, the last straw. <laughs> Open the dough. Get on the flow. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Well, how about that? Guess we could have seen this one coming. Anyways, I guess I'm just gonna end it there, and on the next episode we're gonna explore these icy peaks yet again. Uh, till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will beat you over the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> Goodbye!